Hello everyone, my name is Helen. Welcome to the Shrimpy McGee channel. Thanks so much for joining me here. Everyone, I just hit 500 subscribers and I'm so excited. I've worked so, so hard on this content that I make primarily about women's hair loss and using Rogaine, but I also do some other stuff like celebrity gossip and stuff like that. So I do hope that you will like and subscribe to my channel and to this video if you're enjoying what you're seeing and if you're finding it helpful. Uh, I have a whole big long playlist now of uh, Rogaine stuff. So if you're using Rogaine for the first time or you've been using it for a while and you have questions or you wanna see how I put it on, etc., and so forth, feel free to go ahead and check out that playlist. I have done so much stuff. I feel like, I feel like I've touched upon nearly everything or so I think because as soon as I think I've done everything, I get questions from people with things that I have not, not thought of. So obviously I, I apparently am just scratching the tip of the iceberg with content uh, regarding Rogaine. So like I said, go ahead and subscribe. Thanks for being here today. One thing that I don't have in my big long playlist is something about what you should do before you've even started using Rogaine. Because when I started filming, uh, and just to give you a tiny little bit of backstory to fill in my story, when I started filming, I just sort of jumped right in because I had been using Rogaine and it was already successful, so that's where I started. But I get a lot of questions. A lot of people slide into my DMs on Instagram and you're welcome to do that too if you wanna connect with me. You can also leave a comment here. I have a really great track record of responding to everybody who messages me and while my channel is still relatively small, I'm happy to do that. But a lot of what I get is sort of people wondering about what they should do should they start Rogaine? How to put it on? They've never used it before, in other words. So I thought I would make uh, a video today for those of you out there who are just like worried about using it or not too sure if you should use it. You know, I can't answer every single question. This is obviously a personal decision you're gonna have to make at some point. Uh, but I just thought I would make this video with the tips that I do have that you must do and you should do before you even start using Rogaine. But first of all, so that'll be coming up, but first of all, just stick around because I'm gonna talk a little bit about how I started using Rogaine because it's been a while since I've given you guys my full story. I started this YouTube channel almost two years ago. It's going, it'll be two years in about March, late March, I think it is, or April. And I've made over a hundred videos so far. And some of the first ones I ever made uh, was about dealing with a really short pixie cut. So if you go back to my oldest videos, which are kind of cringe, I mean, <laughs> I just did them in um, our sort of home office room and I used the camera that was inside our computer, like a really low resolution camera, but um, they've done pretty well because I guess I was talking about some stuff that people had questions about. Basically how to straighten your hair when you have really sh like a really short pixie cut and you wanna get your hair straight and not so curly. So that was like my one of my first videos that sort of became somewhat popular with people. So that's sort of how I started two years ago. And so my hair was growing in, growing in from a pixie cut and then September rolled around and then I just started losing tons and tons of my hair. A combination I think of the medication that I'm on, um, which hair, like thinning hair is a major side effect of it. Um, also, I was experimenting with the keto diet and I, I swear that took a toll on my hair loss as well. And definitely I've heard from a lot of women saying that keto did their hair in a lot. So I kind of blame keto a little bit for that as well. And just, you know, also apparently in September, a lot of your hair falls out. Uh, I didn't know this until I started researching and I've actually made a video about that too. Like fall hair loss, autumn hair loss is actually a thing. Like your peak hair is in July and then a lot of it will start to fall out in September. They don't exactly know why. I'll link up that video. Go ahead and watch that if you're curious. Uh, so that's sort of how I came to where I am now. You know, I started using Rogaine a year and two months ago, three months ago now, and I've had just nothing but really good results with it. This is not an ad. This is 100% not sponsored. Rogaine, Minoxidil, the generic, the brand name, it's all the same here. Like I said, I'm not, this is just my experience with it. And um, I've made lots of videos and I've done lots of research on it. You know, I'm still not a medical professional, obviously. So if you have any actual medical questions, this is not to be used in place of seeing your doctor. I know nobody really wants to hear that because we all just want the easy fix. But um, you know, this is not medical advice. I think you guys know that though. Obviously, like I say, if I were a doctor, I wouldn't be here making this video. I would be seeing patients and making some real money because um, as much as I love doing this, this does not pay the bills. <laughs> this is actually just some people think I do this for a full time job. I totally do not. This is just on top of what I do as a freelance writer, editor, journalist. But uh, OK, so that's sort of my story. And here I am now. Rogaine is working really great for me. Um, you can go ahead and watch, you know, my one year progress video. I will link that up as well. And you can sort of see, I just give you a better look at my bald spot before and after. And you're welcome to take a little peek here, you know, 
I'm always in a terrible habit of not putting my head down enough, so I'm gonna try and do it for a while here. Have a look. Hopefully that's in frame. <laughs> Hair check. Oh, Rogaine's just worked really well for me, and but there are a few things that I wanted to talk to you guys about because I keep getting this sort of questions again and again, and I um, also, you know, I feel for people because they're afraid to start, so I'm just gonna talk a little bit about what, what you should do, what you should keep in mind, what to know, because nobody's asked me outright, should I start Rogaine? Because they know I can't give them a straight answer, but they'll ask me sort of around that question, <laughs> like, the last question is sort of related to it, you know, and so I know what they're really asking is, they want me to tell them something that's gonna make them pick it or not pick it. So let's just say you have decided to pick, and so maybe I will make a video just strictly addressing like whether you should use Rogaine or not, but right now I'm just gonna address things you should know before you buy the bottle, before you pick it up, before you start, any of that. Just some great things to keep in mind. So stay tuned for all of those. The best one will be, the most important one I think I'm gonna leave till the end, ha ha ha. So stick around for that one. So my first tip before you ever start using Rogaine is that you should read and keep the directions. And I cannot tell you, you know, that sounds like such an obvious basic one and you're probably gonna click off now because you think like, who doesn't know that? I promise they're gonna get better, but I'm just saying this because people have a real habit of not really reading the directions. And I'm not just, I'm not just speculating this. Like I am on a Facebook group for women about hair loss and I am surprised at how many people do not read the direct, like they ask questions on there that they should know because they should have read the directions. So some basic things to know is that, you know, you have to use it consistently. Another basic thing to know is that you should not get your hair wet for four hours after you first put it on. So read the instructions, read them full all the way through. You know, the can itself of brand name Rogaine has some stuff on it about how to use it, how to hold the foam properly, how much to use, read it but also keep the paper insert because if you start having side effects, you'll have the paper insert and you could read them. Let's say you wanna take them to the doctor with you. Well, it's already there in the paper insert, just bring it with you, right? Good to hang on to those things, especially if you haven't started yet. My second tip about what you should know about Rogaine before you ever even start, before you even put a drop of it on your head is that Yes, you're in for it once you start. There is no starting Rogaine, loving the results, and then deciding you're not gonna use it anymore, and then you're gonna keep all of your hair. That might happen. I'm not gonna say it will, you'll never keep your hair, but it states very clearly in the Rogaine packaging, and from what I've heard from other women, that once you start using Rogaine, the hair that you get from the Rogaine will fall out if you stop using it. How long it will take, I don't exactly know. I don't think it falls out the same day you stop using it, obviously, but eventually that hair will fall out. It doesn't mean all your hair will fall out though, because that's another question that I get. If I stop using Rogaine, will all my hair fall out? No, all of your hair will not fall out. So this is what, this is an analogy that I've developed to help try and explain it. Let's just say you had a bowl of tortilla chips, okay? So you have these just um, white tortilla chips, let's just say, and so this is what you're starting out with. This is the hair that you want, and you're gonna be using Rogaine because you wanna grow back that extra hair in your thinning and balding spots, and so, hey, great, let's just say that Rogaine starts working, so here they are. Um, let's say you've got some red tortilla chips now in there, so you've got some red tortilla chips and the white tortilla chips, and the white ones are your original hairs, and the red ones are that you, the ones that you grew from using Rogaine, and so, okay, so you stop using using Rogaine, so now what happens? Well, what happens is not all, you don't lose all of your hair, it doesn't all fall out because you stopped using Rogaine, but those Rogaine grown hairs, which are represented by the red tortilla chips, are now, are gonna come out, right? So you don't have those anymore, but you are left with your original hair. Does that make sense? I hope it does, but then don't forget that if you layer on top of this time, let's say you've gone through menopause, let's say your hair loss is progressive, well that could still thin too, like your original hair could still keep thinning, obviously, right? But that is something to keep in mind. So when you start using Rogaine, haha, or minoxidil, you're kinda, you've made a commitment. So you're gonna stick with it at that point. And when do you stop? I don't know, that's up to you. I don't know when I'm gonna stop. I have heard of women moving to a maintenance dose and men too, moving to a maintenance dose. That sounds like it's different for everybody. You know, um, I am no expert having not done a maintenance dose, but what I'm commonly hearing is that every second day, people will still use it because, you know, you still need to feed those follicles with some minoxidil is the way I'm understanding the maintenance dose to work. I'm hoping eventually to move into that territory, but I'm not there yet. I'm still using Rogaine slash minoxidil. 
every single day and I'm really consistent about it and so I, because I'm really happy with the results, there's no reason for me to stop. I found a way to make it less expensive and you can go and have a look at a video I have about that which is that called, um, I switch over to liquid I think is the name of it, it doesn't matter, I'll put a picture of it and then a link for you guys to um, watch that and you can see how I made Rogaine much more affordable for myself. So yeah, so the next thing that I want to tell you about using Rogaine uh, for the first time before you even start is what I want you to do is track your progress because people say I don't think it's working or oh I think I see some baby hairs. Well the best way to know is to take photos. Do you want to take a photo every single day? No, of course not. You're not going to see any difference. It will just drive you crazy but go into one spot, decide that you're going to have a spot in your house maybe near a window or maybe in front of the bathroom mirror or maybe get someone in your family to take a picture for you and you're going to take uh, a shot because you want to have something to compare it to. So take that shot, maybe part your hair in a couple different ways or maybe get a picture of the top of your worst thinning area, make sure it's parted the same way, don't do it wet and then take another picture dry that's going to not look right, you know, make sure you do it dry, don't take pictures of your hair wet. You will be miserable if you do that because nobody's hair looks full when it's wet. Almost everybody you can see through to your scalp. Don't do that to yourself. I made a video about that as well where I got ready and oh my gosh, the bald spot when my hair was damp was just, it was, it was a horror show, okay? It was, it was, it was hard for me to edit that video. But anyway, take your progress shots. Take your day one before you started shot. You know, you can take one maybe every two weeks. That's what I would do. I think even every week is probably not, you're not going to see much progress, but I think maybe every two weeks, even maybe every month is probably good. It's great to have those shots in your history as well. Hang on to them because if you do go to a doctor about this, you'll want to show them. You know, um, I've talked about this before as well and sorry to keep sounding like a broken record. I really just have done so many things on the topic. but. Medical professionals, I don't know if you've noticed this too, they really respond well to show when you show them pictures, like if you have hard evidence and pictures are really good sometimes or if you have dates and things written down, they often have scientific minds and so that really resonates with them much more than just a sort of casual retelling of the things that have been going on with you. Like when you come with your receipts, so to speak, they um, tend to take you more seriously too. Maybe that's not the way it should be but in my experience that's kind of the way it is. So yeah, so take your photographs. My next tip is don't be inconsistent. This is another thing that I hear about people and it kind of makes me crazy. Like people, if you want to have a really good result with Rogaine, it is like any other medicine, you have to take it. It's not like Tylenol where you take it just because you have a headache. It's something that is meant to be taken daily. In fact, the men's formulation, and I use the men's formulation, I've been cleared to do that. Um, the men's formulation says to use it twice a day and for women typically we would use it once a day at the 5% strength. So I use mine once a day every day. It's not something that you just switch on and uh, oh I'm in the mood to do it today or mm, I wash my hair today and like you only wash your hair every four days and that's when you decide to apply it. Uh-uh. You're going to be applying it every day. It's okay to put it on dirty hair. I certainly have and it still works. It's okay to put it on hair that has mousse and hairspray in it. Just go for it. The key is to be consistent. So my next and my final tip about using Rogaine before you've ever used it, before maybe you even purchased it, is this one and I think it's a good one which is make sure you can return it and buy a small quantity if you can't. So some places have better return policies than others. If you don't know what the return policy is of the store that you're purchasing it from then definitely ask. I would caution you against buying it from an online retailer if, if returns are a problem. I would caution you against from getting it ultra cheap on places like Amazon because sometimes those are resellers and they will not accept it and sometimes you don't know how old the product is. But I would definitely, if this is your first time purchasing, go to an actual physical store if you can, have a look, check the expiration date, just make sure it's nice and far out, buy a small amount. I realize that sometimes buying a small amount is more expensive then buying, you know, a one year supply, the kind you would get at Costco or something like that, but you might not end up using it all, right? You might not, you might not, you, you might give up partway through or halfway through. At that point, you're not going to be able to return it. If you're like halfway through a six month supply and it's like three months in, most places will not accept that as a return. So be strategic and think about it. I would just start with a small amount. What if you have side effects? You, you don't know what's going to happen yet, right? So, a, make sure there's a great return policy. A lot of places do have. If you don't know, double check with them. And B, maybe just start with that small supply. You know, start with that smaller supply. Don't don't go in for the bulk purchase yet. You don't know. Your next purchase, you'll save the money then or find another way to get it more affordably. 
Um, so yeah, those are my tips. I hope so much that this was helpful. If you've never used Rogaine and you're worried about it, just some things that you can keep in mind. Um, and be sure to subscribe once again. If you subscribe, I'll know that you like this video and I will just keep making content like this because I think it's helpful to people. I mean, I have 500 subscribers, so obviously somebody's interested in this. So um, yeah, thanks so much everybody and we'll catch you on the next one. Bye.